Hello, welcome back to CRMK Ranch. Well, today we're gonna do a little tractor talk with Mike. We've got this Mahindra 2555. It's a HST transmission, non-cab model. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little bit of glare, but it's a, it's a diesel, 55 horsepower tractor. We bought it used and it was in surprisingly good condition and the price was almost too good to be true. So we've been using it and not been having very many problems with it at all actually, except for the fact that it's really tippy. There's no ballast in the rear tire so it, uh, it tends to uh, get a little light in the rear end when we're picking up a hay bale. But our current problem is the hydraulic cooler. You can see I've got a JB weld repair on there. That's actually the second JB weld repair. And within seconds of starting it, this is what happens. So I did a little research on the interwebs and the first Google search I did, the guy had a similar problem and the response was that this is a well-known and well-documented problem with Mahindra tractors. And these coolers are not cheap. They're, depending upon where you get one, they're about 400 bucks a pop, maybe 250. We found one for 110, but we're waiting to get it to hopefully we get the what we thought we ordered problem with it is these cooling fins you can see how thin they are and then you get down to the one that if i can get down there that is having the problem which is this row right here i'm gonna move the camera into this frame Instead of it being thin, it's very difficult to see. It's, instead of being thin like that, it's poofed up and it's crushed the cooling fins on either side of it, top and bottom, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, airflow can't go through there. But the problem is, is that the fact that this thing is just blowing out, obviously we've got some sort of an overpressure condition that this little aluminum heat exchanger is not able to take that kind of stress. So here's the conundrum. Evidently, this is a well-documented issue with these tractors. I come over here and look at this five-year warranty sticker that they proudly put on their equipment. And I suspect that this probably might not be the first time that this has happened to this tractor. Well, further research on the internet tells me that there's a kit that Mahindra has made called a hydraulic oil cooler bypass kit that supposedly uh, prevents this from happening. Well, the problem with that is the kit's 500 bucks. I'm almost wondering if it's worth it just to cap that or, or make those lines, you know, eliminate the uh, cooler and just let that coolant or that um, hydraulic fluid circulate through those lines and that'd be the only cooling that it gets. We don't use this thing enough to uh, really get the hydraulic fluid that hot that it needs to be cooled. But I think it's time for Mahindra to step up to the plate here and fix their engineering flaw. Obviously, if this is such a known problem, then it's a design problem that they must know about. So this 50, 2555 HST is dead in the water and it's worthless to us without this cooler. Not, you know, we have to get 
the thing to stop leaking because it can't run for 10 seconds. It doesn't pump half the hydraulic fluid out. So, all right, Mahindra, if you're, if you're watching, reach out to us. We're not happy with your product. It's time to make it right. Thanks for watching.